<laughs> Sorry about that. It was up there until I pushed the button. There we go. Good day, diecast peeps. Sorry about that. It was there. I pushed the button and it fell. Um, got a lot of things to show you guys. Still nothing on my box. It's made it to New York from Malaysia. Um, they have sent me a second tracking number from there. So it's the second box because they said something about me getting another one. Um, we'll get to that because I don't have them. So don't know when they'll be here. Um, went the last couple of days. Went and hit a few stores. Um, since I've been back from Oklahoma. Picked up four more of the Dotsons. A um, bunch of other stuff. Those were sitting right there. That's why I went and showed you those. Uh, I've picked up a bunch of other stuff. That some stuff was a shocking stuff. Because I wasn't expecting to see it. Um, some stuff I was looking for. Um, but enough of that. Let's get to it. Um, I'm looking for... Where did it go? Is this it? Maybe this is it. This is it. Went running around. Hunting for... Some stuff right after Christmas when I got back. Um, don't believe. Oh yeah, never mind. I've already mentioned the haulers. <laughs> and about finding them, and they was on sale for seven bucks or whatever. That's right. Um, but the other one I was looking for was the pink one. There's something rolling around in it, but I picked it up because I needed it. It's the piece that I usually falls off where it connects. So this will go up there. Um, while I was running around, there's another one. I knew I had another one somewhere. Wasn't even looking for this. Didn't even know this really even existed. And stumbled upon it. Here's the, the Gremlin. The Green Machine. With the gremlin in it. This is up for trade. It's been posted on Instagram. There's only one thing that I would probably take for this. Um, I will try to get that picture of what I'm looking for for this in return. And I'll post it at the end. It's pretty much the only one I want. Unless you've got one that's better then we may be able to talk this is a 124th scale gremlin like i said i just stumbled upon it it was just sitting there i wasn't expecting it i was looking for something else and as i was leaving i said oh look at those those are cute little gremlin cars picked it up and i remember the seeing the uh what is it? Uh, Gone in 60 Seconds Mustang. And I kind of wanted it in the green machine. I didn't know this came with it. Because I seen I, so I was look, moving those out. And this was behind those. So it was, this was in the very, very back of the, of the box. Of the, on the shelf. So there's that. Um, then today. I went out. Because I had to go. <clears throat> well, a friend of mine, Dustin, found um, another green machine, Silverado, not a green machine, found a green light, I'll get it right, a green light, Silverado, that I'm looking for, um, he left the Hobby Lobby sticker on it, so <laughs> I knew where to go look, so today I went to a few Hobby Lobbies running around, but I had, well, yesterday I went to a couple, but today and didn't find anything, today I went to a few because I had to go an hour away. It's about 45 minutes maybe. Away to the north side of Houston. To pick up one of my sons. He wanted to come here for New Year's. So went and picked him up. So I figured well. Every time I'm over there I'm going to hit stores. And I hit them good today. 
Um, did not find that truck, however. Found this. This is in the this is the same set that it's in. So it's the one I'm looking for is gray, but it's in this set, so it's in this series. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like this. My son's in said, Oh, that's cool. So I said, you know, I'll pick it up. It's not something I normally pick up, but I picked it up because he liked it. Um, went to another one. Picked up the green machine. I almost missed it. It was just sitting there. I'm like, oh, there's nothing. Oh, there's nothing. Looked through the other stuff. Went down. Blew it on self. Looked back up. I'm going, isn't that car supposed to be blue? <laughs> and I looked it up on eBay. I looked it up. I'm like, wait a minute. Let me make sure. <laughs> I should have known it's the green, but I wanted to make sure. So, found this. However... As you can see, it's kind of creased and bubbled and kind of dinged a little bit there. But I picked it up anyway. Um, Twelve ninety four is the number. I'm not big into the police cars, so if there was a green machine. I'm not gonna leave it. Um, also found these, which I thought were kind of interesting. Thought they were kind of neat. Um, I'm trying to look for a year because I've asked a few people. They told me they was from 2013. I've never seen them. A few people said, yeah, we've seen them. We ran into them at a toy store or someplace. I'm not seeing... Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not seeing an address. Normally, there's an address on there somewhere. So hold, give me one second. Um, hmm. This is odd. There's usually a date, a year, for the manufacture date. And there's not one on that part anyway. Maybe it's on the front. No. It's not on the front. Oh gosh, there's more stuff over here. Good grief, Charlie Brown. 12. 2012. I knew I'd find it. So you guys have probably seen these before. I've never seen them until today. It's a little nine pack, little travel case where you can nine loose cars in it. I thought that was neat for the kids, for the twins when we go somewhere. Or I could use one to have nine fast downhill cars in it. <laughs> and just carry this with me. Um, but there's that. I thought it was pretty interesting. <clears throat> then, now I'm only at eight minutes. Hmm. What am I going to show you guys? Hmm. I know. I will tell you about the main reason I'm doing the video. Ran across today, picked up the kid, went to a few places, as you can see, went and set Toys R Us. Waited for about 30 minutes for them to open. I said, I'm going to hit the Toys R Us because what I'm looking for for the Gremlin car has been showing up at Toys R Us. It is a hitch and tow green machine. Um... Twilight, I think it is, but it has a Silverado and the Impala, only the green machine. The regular one, I'll find the green machine. I need the regular one too, but so we waited. Went into the store, went over to the cars, didn't see anything, didn't see anything. Looking through the Hot Wheels, okay, whatever. Turned back around, looking through the green lights again. I said, oh, maybe they have the Gremlin cars and stuff. Looked down, nothing there. Looked up. Because my son was with me. He said, there's some Fast and Furious cars. I'm like, huh? I said, they're probably old. And I look and I'm going, those were on T-Hunted site just a couple days ago. T-Hunted site shows there's supposed to be 32 of them. Okay, no big deal. I said, hmm. I looked on eBay, there's none. 
I'm going, well, I really don't know if they are, because there's no Hot Wheels logo on these. There's no Jada logo on these. So I didn't know if they were Hot Wheels related, if they were Jada related, or that one's got a dent, or what. Because all it has is Mattel. I take them to the front. I have all of them. There was two boxes, two cases. Each each box holds eight, so I have 16 of them. Went to the front with them. The lady started scanning. She's trying to scan. She's like, they're not scanning up. It shows, and she gets the manager who's standing there and says, they're not showing up. It shows they're not supposed to be out until February. Street day is February. That's, that's a month and a half from now because it was the end. It was the 27th of February. So that's almost two months. These are not supposed to be out for another two months. So the lady went, talked to the stockroom manager. Stockroom manager came back up there and said, do you have all of them? I said, I have all of them. He's like, it was, it was our mistake. They're not supposed to be out until reset at Toys R Us. They're not supposed to be out until then. Not supposed to be out. So that's basically the end of February, according to the street date box, because he had another box in the back that did not fit on the pegs and said he will make sure that those boxes don't get put out because he just got in trouble by the main store manager. So he said, we've discussed it. You take all of them. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows so I post them on Instagram in here, but yeah. <laughs> so, I got them all. That was in the box. That will not be out till February. So, I'm going to show you guys now those cars. Because that was a major hit. I got them two months early. I've never seen them anywhere. They just posted them on T-Hunted site two days ago. So, I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, there's 16 of them. In each case, there's two, two of one car, two of one car, and then four singles separate by themselves. There's only four of, so an example would be, there was two of these in a case, which is this one. And like I said, they just have the Mattel logo on it. There's the card art, no Hot Wheels, no Jada. None of that stuff. This one's got a crease in it. I just seen that. Um, nothing. On the back, all it has is Mattel logo. Some of these cars look like the Jada cars. Some of them I've never seen before. But it's a Mattel product, not a Jada line product. The rivets, I've looked at the bottom of some of these. The rivets in them look like a Hot Wheels rivet. Like a Mattel. So I don't know what they are unless Mattel just did something for the movie. I have no clue. I've been real tempted to open one of them up because I'm curious <laughs> about how well they they're made and the wheels, which the wheels look like they're plastic, the cars look like they're die cast based. But so there's two of these in a box. Then there's like two of another one, and then four just of one so of a single car um so there was two of these again two of those which is fast and furious six this is number 29 out of the 32 because it's down there where it says how many um i don't know why i put these up here i should have did this um then there is the dodge charger 70 rt which is number 13 of 32 and it's just from the Fast and Furious car. It's like one of the first with the motor. And you look at this. Hmm. See, it looks, they look a little cheaper, but it's, it's metal. The engine looks kind of cool. Hmm. I'm going to try to compare this engine with one of the other ones and see. But there's that one. Um, then there is number 9 of 32, which is the 70 Dodge Charger. So what that was? 70 Dodge Charger from the Fast Five, the one in primer. 
it has black wheels. Then there is the 1970 Dodge Charger Off-Road, which is the one that Hot Wheels just made. And these wheels are definitely not the Hot Wheel wheels. I said, I haven't looked at them really neither. I just picked them up and went with it. So there's that one. And this is number one. So this is the first one out of the 32, which will be this one. And then there's number two. So that's number one, and this is number two. <laughs> this one's got a little ding in the bottom. Like those, there was just one of. So there's a little ding in this one, though. Um, 70 Plymouth Roadrunner from Furious, Furious 7. Hmm. So there's that one. And the packaging, hmm, I'll check on another one in a minute. There may be a way. I'm not going to do it with that one. I'll do it with a different one. Um, then I'm going to show this one last because this is the one everybody's going to want. Um, there was two of these. Where'd it go? There's two of these from Furious 6. This is number 6. The Fort Escort. The 70 Fort Escort. There's two of these. Hmm. And again, the rivets and stuff look like Hot Wheel rivets. Very interesting. But there was two of these. So you see, there was two of these. One, 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 and then two. So, which made a total of eight per box. There was two of those. So there'll be a bunch of those. There was two of these. So there'll be a bunch of these. The Ford GT40. This is the last one. This is number 32 of 32. Which is the Ford GT. See, you look at it and it's going, oh my gosh, that looks like it was really cheap. But, again, it's a Mattel product. Mm, I kind of want to open it to see. Let me see if there's a way. To get this. They glued the crap out of this. They, glued the, they have glued the crap out of it. I was going to try to get it off real easy. To get the car out. So we could look at it. But. There's no way to do that without ripping it open. Hmm. That's been tempting. Let me see if I can get this out. I'm going to mess with this for a minute. Uh-oh. Hold on. Well, I done messed it up now. So, <laughs> that didn't work out too well for me, did it? Too late. I guess this one's going to get opened up. We're going to find out. They've double-sided it so it don't move. Hmm. Little ramp. See, they have the other piece in there. They're pretty heavy. Um, And this was number 32, so it's got the number on the bottom. It's Mattel. It's just Mattel. There's no Hot Wheels or Jade or anything logo on it. It's strictly Mattel. Wheels are plastic. Car is metal. I think. Yeah, car is metal. So there's the car, plastic wheels, plastic base, um, try to get it where you guys can read this. Focus, focus, 
doesn't want to focus but there's no hot wheels it just says mattel product it says let me read it because it was blurry it says oh hold on maybe i had it upside down for you guys no yeah, that's right it says 2016 mattel uni oh tm and uni um copyright 2016 mattel then at the bottom it says 4 gt40 ffo32 fast and furious number 032 so number 32 of 32 hmm. and those are mattel rivets those are definitely hot wheel rivets so something off the hot wheels line because if you look at it, it kind of kind of looks like the older Corgi types. That's what they kind of look like. <laughs> Dustin, you just popped up across there. Hey, Kev, anything new? Watch the video. <laughs> so there's those. So there's that. Now I'm going to do something with this. I'm going to see how fast this runs down the track. <laughs> Behind me, of course. I got a pile of trash over here. Anyway, let's get back to this. Now that we took an intermission. Um, this one is the Maserati. From number 19 to 32. From the Furious 7. Who drove this car? I don't remember it. The Maserati is green. I don't 100% remember this car, but there's that. Um, then there is this one, which I'm definitely keeping. The corner's a little dinged up. I don't care. It's a keeper. As soon as I find another one, it the second one will be opened up. So everybody should know what it is. It's number 5 of 32 from Furious 7. I'm keeping it. Dodge Challenger SRT8 2011. See, now you look at this, does not look like a Jada line. So I'm wondering if Jada and Hot Wheels got together, Mattel, threw both castings together, ta-da, and they come up with this. Because that looks exactly like it. Or really close. I'm going to compare it. Well, I don't think Jada put the... The bumper thingy on that's the back of the car. I don't think they put that on the back. I know they have one on the front. I don't think they put it on the back. Hmm. That's interesting. But there's that one. That's a keeper. That'll go on a shelf. So I'm gonna put this one up here so I don't get it mixed up. Then there is from Fast and Furious 6. The rock vehicle. That's what I call it. There it is. What does that say? Navistar MXT. The one that The Rock drove, I believe, in the movie. This is number 10 of 32. So there's the front. Hmm. That's interesting. And then there is, I'm telling you, I'm still going. From Fast and Furious 6, I think this one may be something people want. Even though it looks stupid and almost left it. Then I said, oh wait, that was the flip car. Yes, the one that flipped the cars over. This is number 3, so I have 1, 2, and 3 together. And 5, there's no number 4 yet. I don't have number 4 yet. Um, so this is the flip car from Furious 6. Has the little thing in the front. If you was doing downhill races or something, set that behind the person's car and you could flip them and win. <laughs> That's kind of neat though. This is very neat. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't know the light got in the way. This one's detailed pretty good with the stuff inside of it. Very interesting. And then the last one, which there's two of in the box. Ooh, 
What movie's coming out in April? Eight. There's two of them. It is the Ice Charger from Furious 8. F8. This is number 23. That car is freaking awesome. I seen this and grabbed them immediately. I said, oh, I knew what movie this was from. But that's where the new, they're supposed to do the new Charger. The 70 Charger RT. It's now called an Ice Charger. Because it has that in the back. Body kit. In the front. And then the top. Which is hard to see. I wish there was a way for to... But there's that one. So there's that. It's kind of sharp. So that's it. That's what they are. Like I said, they're this metal. It's a it's a die cast base with what looks like Jada's and Mattel mixed together with Hot Wheel rivets and corgi style wheels i don't know they combined everything together i don't know but with that being said that's it i don't have anything else to show um hope you guys you have a good happy new year which will be tomorrow with that being said i got a few stores i'm gonna go hit in the morning to try to find that stinking off uh, all-terrain Silverado that I'm looking for That being said hope you guys enjoyed this video and bye bye Sorry about that Just when you thought it was over There's been a bag sitting here, and I forgot what it was Went to a flea market yesterday with the family and found some stuff It's not hot wheel related It's not die cast car related it's choo choo train related. <laughs> I wasn't going to pass them up. There's two in here I really don't care to have. Someone put parts, but it's not. Some of them are completed. So the other two I'm not going to show you because they're not important. Because one of them, the pieces are in there. It could be fixed. But I thought this was interesting. I used to do trains. Been thinking about it once we move again to get back, set up a big, huge table. Don't know if I'm going to do it yet or not, but I found this. And I know these things aren't cheap. So, the Santa Fe line, the thing with the people sit in it, the really long one. It's all here. It's complete. So, I picked it up for pretty cheap. Along with the other two that are in here. But that's not what I wanted to show you. This bag was in the bottom. This bag is beyond freaking it. I bet you this bag is at least 15 pounds. Easy. There's only two items in it. That is because, and I haven't taken them out of the bag yet. Oh, it's connected somehow. I just seen it and said, I want it. I told the lady at the front, she's like, that's heavy. And I said, I don't even know if it works. I don't even care if it works. This is connected to that. Ooh, these things are freaking old. What is this? Man. I'm sorry, I'm just in awe. If you know about trains and stuff. This was in one of the bags for seven bucks. There's no name on the side of it, so I'm not a hundred. I'm gonna have to do some research when I can. Okay, I think this. I think this piece is broke. I think there's supposed to be one in the back because I think this, because they're attached with a thing, connects to this. Okay, that connects to that. You can see what it is. This is 100% metal. This is not plastic. 
I mean, the little line is they're still there. Man, something missing from the top. But someone wrote parts on it. And I'm sorry, this is not parts. Because the wire is still connected to it. And then there's this piece, which has wheels on it. I don't know what it is. I mean, the wheels and stuff are still there. I bet you this thing works still. And then there's the... Hold on. I'm trying to see. It doesn't want to move. I bet these pieces only move if it's hooked up to the track, maybe. Does this even run on a track? That would be the next question. This may not even run on a track. This just may be a model. I've never seen this before. That's why... Because these pieces aren't wanting to move. I don't want to break it. This is supposed to move back and forth. So there is a thing there. Anyway, I'm going to mess with it and figure it out. We're going to see if I can't figure it out. So, but there it is. I mean, this thing is freaking awesome. All the little pieces on the wheels has the little the little pieces here that are all still attached there's no name that's what gets me though I am stomped but this is freaking awesome I'm gonna have to figure this out man so in the meantime this will definitely be put up <laughs> so the kids can't get to it and rip it apart <laughs> um, with that being said it's still got a light in it the light is still there kind of I think or is that just a piece of like crystal I don't know I'm gonna look this up and see someone was obviously into trains because this is cool I like this that being said hope you guys enjoyed this other part of the video and bye bye